what we're going to be discussing now is the adjustment that needs to be made uh, to eliminate the initial investment in the subsidiary. And the adjustment is actually fairly straightforward. Um, what we're going to do is, in effect, get rid of what's termed the pre-acquisition equity. So because as we saw previously, um, the equity in the business was overstated, we just need to reduce that. And we do that by debiting equity, or in this case debiting capital, by the amount um, of the pre-acquisition equity, and we credit the investment, the amount of the investment. Um, so on one level that's pretty straightforward. Um, there are a couple of things we need to talk about, about where this happens and how we deal with it. So the first note is uh, the information about it is AASB 10 in the standard itself doesn't really provide you much detail about what we've just done. Uh, what you need to go to is the application guidance uh, behind it um, as part of Appendix B and that actually goes through some of the details of, of what we're talking about. Um, importantly, and I might just use a different color for this, is the capital that we're talking about is what's termed the pre-acquisition equity. Now that means it's what the equity was at at the point in time in which control occurred. So even though capital may be higher years and years out, what we're looking at is the capital or retained earnings or any other sort of equity items which were sitting in the subsidiary at the time of uh, control happening. So what you're looking at is a control date. So all of that you're basically taking off against the investment that was put in. Now the second thing is from a I suppose logistical perspective is how we actually go through this. Now WSB 10 is around consolidated financial statements. Now, this is important because the parent has its own books and will record the investment occurring. The subsidiary will have its own books and will do the various things that happens in the subsidiary. But the group itself does not have its own books. It does not have its own books. Now this means that everything that happens will actually occur in what's called a consolidation worksheet and these things do not run along year after year. You will basically do them at the end of each year and then the following year you have to repeat everything again. So if you make this entry happen at the first year, you'll have to repeat it in the second year, you're going to have to repeat it in the third year, you're going to have to repeat it in the fourth year, and so on. So because the group doesn't have its own books, you have to, re you have to repeat these adjustments on through time while the parent has control of the subsidiary. Now, the first adjustment that needs to be made, we've just looked at, which is the elimination of the investment, but there are a number of other adjustments that uh, can be and will, will need to be done and that we're going to have a look at in subsequent videos.